Well, this spring being cool and wet really across much of the northern part of our country really set the table for disease problems, especially in small grains. Small grains cause lots of problems simply because we've got the rows tight together, you have thick population, good early growth, so it can be good or bad. I mean, if you're in a really dry area of the country, you still have some moisture there, but the problem is when you've got moisture, anywhere in the country, you're gonna have more disease problems. So that's one of the reasons why we see more disease problems in small grain. The other big reason is we don't have these great big companies like Monsanto and Pioneer and everybody else spending billions of dollars on research to develop better wheat hybrids in terms of disease tolerance. So we've got major problems and that's why fungicide use has gotten to be so popular in wheat. Well, here's the other thing, Brian. Let's talk about how fungicides actually work. Fungicides move through the xylem in the plant. Once they get into that plant, they only move through the xylem. Now there's two transport systems inside the plant, the xylem and the phloem. The xylem just moves up. The phloem moves up and down. So when you can only move up in a plant, pretty much all you can protect is what's there today. And that's why you have to have great spray coverage with fungicides. You wanna use flat fan nozzles, as much water as you can, use a good adjuvant like Protex, something like that. You have to do everything possible to protect all the leaves, not just some of them. That's another reason why just spraying one time isn't gonna cut it in a lot of cases. The three main timings for wheat when spraying fungicides are with herbicide early in the season, at flag leaf, and then at heading or at about 15% flowering, 10 to 15% flowering right in there. At that flowering stage, you have to use a trisol. You can't use a strobal urine. If you use a strobal urine, then you're much more likely to have Don problems. At the other timings at flag leaf or with herbicide, you can use a strobal urine, a trisol, or a combination of the two. Well, here's the big thing, Brian. I see a lot of guys fall into this category. I say, you know, I'm just gonna pick up enough of one thing and I'll just use that over and over again. If I need to spray a little more, I'll just throw some more of that in the tank. That's the worst thing you could do. Don't keep using the same fungicide several times during the growing season or you're gonna have some issues with resistance out in your field. Yeah, but here's the bigger thing I look at. A lot of guys will say, well, I wanna keep my cost down, so when's the best time to spray? I only wanna spray once. I don't wanna spray <laughs> two or three times. And I always tell guys, why not? If every time you spray makes you 10, 15, 20 dollars an acre, I want to spray as many times as I can, not as few times as I can. So you got to turn this thing around and say, my objective is not to cut costs. My objective is to make the most possible dollars that I can. And the great thing now is if you've been in a dry area and you said, oh, I can't really afford five or 10 dollars an acre for some of these fungicides. Well, now there are fungicides that literally cost two to three dollars full rate. As we're out there making investments, we're doing a job, we're businessmen. It's not about, well, what can I do to get by and take the least amount of time in my field? That's not the game here. The game is trying to get the best crop and make the most money on your farm. And this is how you do it. You evaluate your fields, you go through them and you say, where can I improve things? And disease is always a big deal on small grains. Well, the challenge with fungicides is, you have to spray before that disease is there. And I know it's tough to pull the trigger sometimes and you say, wow, here goes another $5 or $10 an acre. And I don't even see that disease out there. But in a week or so, your neighbors are gonna be seeing that disease and you're not. And you're gonna be sleeping better knowing, hey, I made the right decision, I protected my crop, and now I'm gonna be set up for more yield. Well, it's great to spray fungicide to increase your yield and your net profit in wheat, but unfortunately, fungicides won't do anything for our Wheat of the Week. We'll tell you what will, coming up next.